Boom! All right, here we are. Welcome to your unique devotion again. <laughs> Today we're going to start uh, Hebrews Coffee Chapter Two. It's right. It's Coffee Chapter Two. All right. <laughs> I know. Sometimes you just gotta have some fun with this. So here we are, Hebrews Chapter Two. Today is just ingestion time. That means kick back, relax. Um, let me read this to you. And if something stands out, you know, think about that today and communicate with God on that. But otherwise, it, this is more just getting the words in, starting to jog our minds. Then tomorrow, I go back, we'll, we'll break it down section to section, looking for that God question. So, let me get ready. Here we go. If you've got your listening ears, I'll do my best. Therefore, we must give the more earnest heed to the things we have heard, lest we drift away. For if the word is spoken through angels proved steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just reward, how shall we escape if we neglect to, to if we neglect so great a salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord? and was confirmed to us by those who heard him, God also bearing witness both with signs and wonders, with various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit, according to his own will. For he has not put the world to come, of which we speak, in subjection to angels, but one testified in a certain place, saying, What is man? that you are mindful of him, or the son of man, that you take care of him. You have made him a little lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor, and set him over the works of your hands. You have put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we do not yet see all things put under him, but we see Jesus, who is made a little lower than the angels, for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting for him, for whom are all things and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons to glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. For both he who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all of one, for which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare your name to my brethren in the midst of of the assembly, I will sing praise to you, and again, I will put my trust in him, and again, here am I and the children whom God has given me, inasmuch, it's <laughs> one word, it's weird, inasmuch then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is, the devil, and release those who brought fear of death where all their lifetime subject to bondage. For indeed, he does not give aid to angels, but he does give aid to the seed of Abraham. Therefore, in all things he had to be made like his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people, for in that he himself suffered, being tempted, he is able to aid those who are tempted. That is a whole lot to take in. Now, there, I read a little bit slower the first time, because sometimes I find that I rush through some things don't stand out, and then when I read it again, I'm like, no, I missed that the first time. So, I tend to read a little slower, first of all, 
well so that my tongue can catch up with my lips, but that my, the words being spoken can catch up with my brain. And um, hopefully that's helpful for you guys. So tomorrow, tomorrow we go back, break it down, look for the God question. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check the D box, got some cool, always put post some cool uh, music down there with a link. And um, keep an eye out. From time to time, I'm going to post servants.org down there, or you can check them out on your own and uh, post information that's going on um, in their world to help others out. They're a really cool organization. Go check them out. I hope that God gives you all the blessings you deserve, and even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow.